remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Over the past few years, the drum beat for reparations for descendants of slavery has gotten louder and louder, with some saying to Democratic candidates for president, no reparations, no vote. Now, Boosie is chiming in. After watching a show about black business, Boosie was inspired to write this on his Instagram page. I was just watching a show about blacks and black business and what they went through. Bruh, our people deserve money like the damn Indians get. We got completely murdered and fucked over by this nation. Every time we got successful, they hung us. Do y'all know about Greenwood, Black Wall Street, and how they did us? Bruh, I'm pissed. Where the fuck our money at? Our wealth and lives were taken from us especially our businessmen and women. Why haven't none of our fucking presidents asked that black people be compensated forever? Why has this never been an issue at any presidential rally, etc.? Have we forgot? Do leaders feel we deserve it? Millions of black lives taken and black wealth just stripped, which have affected us to this day financially and emotionally. I hate you bitches for what you did to us. I wish death to all of you. Blacks in this country still got no fucking respect or love and that's real. Where our fucking money at, bitches? Democrats, Republicans, presidents, etc. Do you give a fuck about what we've been through? Political blacks who are in power, why haven't your ass spoke up about our race being compensated? I guess y'all don't give a fuck because y'all straight now. Where our fucking money at? Where's the lie? I heard none. Lately, Boosie has been on a truth tour. Really, you got to respect Boosie's mind because he didn't just start talking about real stuff. Go listen to his music. His fans know Boosie has always touched on social issues. But I am so glad that he is using his platform to get at some of these people now. It's going to take the collective efforts of all of us to straighten this thing out. And these people with these big platforms, you know, they have been used for a long time to guide the people in the wrong direction, basically like Malcolm was saying, well actually Malcolm didn't say that, that was Martin Luther King, walking the people into a burning house. So you gotta be careful about these blue checks out there because many of them are agents. And I ain't talking about agents for change. I'm not talking about change agents. I'm talking about spies, moles, in place, used as a tool to make sure that our communities remain marginalized. So I salute Boosie for standing for something because so many of them stand for nothing. I want them reparations too. Now here's the deal. It's like Boosie said, every time we got on top, they came through and they did something to try to destroy us. And oftentimes they actually did. If y'all don't think reparations is important, you're not thinking. Personally, I would be okay if they gave everybody else reparations but me. I'm cool and I think the people who got it don't necessarily need it. Now, if I can get it and everybody else can get it, then that's fine. I'm going to accept mine because I need to accept mine on behalf of my ancestors. You dig what I'm saying? But I know that a lot of people out there 
The only reason why they haven't been able to get ahead is because they never had enough money to put their business idea to use. You know, it takes money. You can have the greatest ideas ever, but, you know, it takes money. And a lot of these people, uh, white people's wealth has been passed along. I mean, they've always had some type of uh, stepping stone. You know, they've had a little push. And oftentimes, unless a black person wins the lottery or gets some type of uh, insurance policy claim or something like that, you could skip generations where you won't have a person that comes up out of that generation. And then if one person makes it, oftentimes that ain't enough to like help everybody. You know, you mess around and find yourself right back in the same position trying to help everybody. So the best move would be for everybody to get reparations, descendants of slavery to get reparations. Now, y'all talking about, I'm talking about for the non-blacks who always say, well, why they can't pull themselves by their own bootstraps and do this and do that? All y'all had a hand up. Some of y'all had hands out. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all had a lot of hand outs. So let's stop faking. Your grandparents, your great grandparents, maybe you skipped a generation because somebody blew the bag. But a lot of y'all had hand outs. A lot of y'all got favoritism from the banks with the redlining. You know, you got favoritism from Jim Crow. You got favoritism, you know, on the job, you know, uh, when the jobs were being handed out, I mean, y'all got a chance to get way, way ahead, man. When you got one race of people not even being offered jobs, not being allowed to work or even be educated, and then the others is flourishing. So you get a, a two, three hundred year jump, and then you say, all right, go. Well, why are you complaining? You got the same opportunity I got. Come on. So now, nah, I'm with Boosie. Reparations, I want them. I want those reparations. The point I was making about reparations for those who don't have money is that if given uh, enough money, enough capital to start their own business, they can then start building generational wealth. They can be the first to break the cycle. And the deal is a lot of people know that. That's why they don't want blacks to have reparations because they know a number of black people are going to use those reparations to better themselves. And quite frankly, it's people out there that just don't want to see black people better themselves. That's the truth. You got some that say, well, they just going to take the reparations and blow them, even black people. They ain't going to do nothing but blow all the money. going to be buying cars and weave and other. Who gives a damn what people do with their own money? Even if 90% of the people who got paid blew it, it would still help the economy. It would help all of those merchants and stuff out there, those people out there who are going to be trying to take advantage of people who are not intelligent enough to do the right thing with the money. So they're going to get paid. All the people that got the cars and stuff, they're going to sell more cars and sell more uh, clothes, whatever they're trying to sell. Sell more products, phones, whatever. But if we can only just get 10%, do you know what that would do? Even if 10% of the people did the right thing with the reparations, that would be a huge boost to our economic stability, our economic well-being. I'm with it. Like I say, I don't even have to get paid. If it, if it was, if they had to break it down and say, okay, you hit this income bracket right here, uh, you don't get reparation, but we're gonna give it to these people. All it, I'm, I'm with it. I'm down. I don't mind taking one for the team. But what say you? I'm with Boosie. Reparations now. Reparations forever. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?
Yeah.